Good afternoon, Ospreys. I'm David Green, and you're watching Nest News live from the Student Union. Coming up on today's show, Starbucks employees on strike in Jacksonville, a movie deal from a Spinnaker alum, new ownership of Twitter, and a sports update. So stay tuned and enjoy the show. Starbucks employees with Starbucks Workers United, a workers union, went on strike on Thursday at two store locations in Jacksonville, joining thousands of other workers across the country on one of the company's busiest days of the holiday season. Red Cup Day kicks off the holiday season for Starbucks as they give out free limited edition holiday reusable cups. It's also one of the busiest days, employees say. Mason Boykin, a 24-year-old University of North Florida graduate, shift manager, and union leader at the San Jose Starbucks, told Spinnaker, it's a general strike demanding that Starbucks meet us at the bargaining table and bargain in good faith. Protesters handed out their own red cups with the Starbucks Workers United logo and health signs. At other Starbucks locations across America, workers said they're, seeing, they're seeking better pay, more consistent schedules, and higher staffing levels in busy stores, the Associated Press reported. It's been nearly four decades since Joe Palmer was on the University of North Florida campus. Now, Palmer is a Spinnaker alumni, award-winning reporter, Navy veteran, and author who recently landed a movie deal with a New York City indie producer for his novel, A Mariner's Tale. A Mariner's Tale is a story about the search for family, self and identity, redemption, and the hope that most of us are salvageable are the biggest takeaways from the book, Palmer told Spinnaker. The book was optioned by Monica Tidwell, who says she was already been to the movie in the theater behind her eyes. Of course, there's no guarantee the book will ever make it to the big screen, but both Tidwell and Palmer are confident in its potential. Multi-billionaire and CEO of Tesla Motors, Elon Musk, officially assumed ownership of the popular social media site Twitter on October 27th after months of trying to back out of the agreement. Since Musk assumed ownership, he has laid off nearly half of its employees due to the millions of dollars the company was losing daily. This also resulted in Musk's newest addition to Twitter, a $7.99 monthly subscription for users to have access to exclusive features, including the notorious blue checkmark that indicates verification. Musk has explicitly stated in his tweets that his mission is to make Twitter the most accurate source of information about the world. Professor Margaret Stewart of UNF School of Communication explained that the motivation of users will be a factor in predicting the direction of Twitter, but there's a lot left to be determined. And now to Riley for your sports update. What's up, Ospreys? I'm Riley. Let's get into this week's action. Basketball season kicked off last week with both of UNF squads taking the court. The women had their slate cut short thanks to Hurricane Nicole, but were able to pick up a 29-point win in their opener against Warner University. <laughs> The men's team got things started facing one of college basketball's biggest names, Gonzaga University. The Zags entered the matchup ranked second in the country, only trailing the North Carolina Tar Heels. Things didn't go UNF's way, though, falling 104 to 63. After all, they are ranked that high for a reason. The tides turned for the Ospreys in their second game, though, making the four-hour trip west from Spokane to Seattle, where they faced the Washington Huskies. This match was as competitive as it gets. UNF led by six points at halftime, keeping the lead for much of the second half. The Huskies fought back, though, going on a 9-0 run late to secure the advantage. The Ospreys made one last push, but it wasn't enough as Washington won 75-67. With a week-long break following the tough pair of openers, the Ospreys will be back in action this Saturday at home against South Carolina State. The game will be the first in the newly renovated UNF arena and will begin at 5 p.m. Show up, be loud, be proud. That's all we have for you this week, Ospreys. Swoop. That's just about all we have for you today, Ospreys. For all things Spinnaker, check out our website at unfspinnaker.com. Also, make sure to follow us on our Instagram at unfspinnaker and subscribe to the YouTube channel for more content. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'm David Green, and we'll see you next week on Spinnaker's Nest News.